two weeks and two days before 2018 Arnold Classic, we are here in uh, Fit Nation Gym in Norwalk, California, where I train regularly with uh, Hidetada Magishi, who is now making a comeback into the Open Division. As you know, he was 212 uh, Arnold Classic champion, and uh, he was pretty much already ready to retire. But the second he uh, heard that I was back in the uh, United States, the same day actually, uh, after prejudging with Mr. Olympia, we did a midnight workout in Las Vegas, and we are training ever since. So uh, I invite you to come and see what we actually really do here in the Fit Nation with Hiratada Magishi. Okay, Steve Blackman, good friend of mine, right? And, uh, he wanted me to do this uh, interview and uh, uh, tape the workout because he knows the long history that I have uh, with Hiratada Magishi. Uh, he is now a good, good friend of mine. He uh, came to the United States in 2006, competed at the Ironman, and uh, accidentally, pretty much, he came to visit me in the gym. Uh, immediately, I, I put him into a workout with Chris Dim at the time, and immediately I've seen uh, that Bushido way of the warrior spirit that uh, Hida has. You know, so I said, like, out of all the pros that I would normally be training, this is the guy that I would like to train because he has that unbreakable spirit. Uh, back in 2006, actually, even if you ask Hide, he didn't really think much that he can qualify for Mr. Olympia and become a top contender. But uh, I've seen his genetics, I've seen his war tactics, and I knew for sure that uh, he can make it to the Olympia. Uh, what's more, actually, uh, you know how it goes in the bodybuilding forums, especially that one getbig.com that uh, people are just brutal. You know, you say hello and uh, they will tell you your mother is a whore, right? You know, they, they pretty much uh, immediately start attacking that he they can never make it to the Olympia because of the structure and genetics and uh, being Japanese and so on. And uh, immediately, the same day I put it, he's going to be on the Mr. Olympia in one year. And uh, uh, of course, you know, when I, when I start training with Hide, uh, you know, to make that happen, we had to really, you know, bring everything to the highest level. So right there and then, we had a less than one year to compete, to prepare for a competition and to qualify for Olympia. Immediately we went, what is in my opinion, most effective way of training. Because if you really look all the different aspects of training, all the aspects of hypertrophy, mechanical tension, muscle damage, uh, metabolic stress, anything else, uh, heavy duty, progressive overload, you name it, I integrated everything into one workout that I'm known for. It's uh, basically giant sets combined with, uh, with some uh, heavy duties and then applying every possible technique you can do from super slow to overload stretch to you name it. So this is what we've been doing all the time. Uh, Hida back in the day did a video that was, uh, I believe it's called uh, Secrets Mission, and uh, it was never staged. Uh, everything like today, as you're going to see, uh, we're going to tape actual workouts. So it's not a stage. Now this is for this TV show, so we're just going to fake it. This is always uh, as real as it gets. So you're going to see how we train. Uh, now, Hide, out of all people that I train, really has that uh, unbelievable tenacity. Uh, he, he can never be broken down. You know, pretty much some of the workouts I design is like, okay, what would be impossible? And he does it. And he does it with a smile. So, you know, since September that I came back here in the United States, I kind of gathered that he was, uh, you know, considering retirement. But like I said, from very best day, first day, after the pre-judging of Olympia, 11 o'clock at night in uh, Athletic City Gym in, in Vegas, we did a uh, what's worse but uh, giant sets for legs. And I've seen that same fire that he had. So we decided to, uh, okay, for him to move here to LA and we're gonna do that. Now, we are aware of the lineup. There is uh, Dexter Jackson, William Boniak, there is uh, uh, Sean Roden, uh, Dennis Wolf, uh, uh, Cedric McMillan, I mean, you name it, deep, deep, deep lineup, you know, best of the best. It's, uh, it's you know, pretty much, you know, Mr. Olympia uh, lineup. And he de did not want to do 212 pounds. He wanted to go on the stage, you know, with the big boys, with the, with the best of the best. Now, uh, you know, for that added pressure, we need to improve on every aspect, not just uh, size, but conditioning. And uh, I expect, and uh, we both do, that he's going to be at his all-time best. And uh, placing, you know, uh, as you know, it's a subjective sport, you know, it's not so important, but it's important the presentation and, and the body that he's going to bring to the stage. Okay, like Miro said, uh, our first session after 10 years was uh, right after uh, Olympia final uh, 2017 in Las Vegas, and I was leg training, so like, like Miro just said, I was... You know, I was gonna retire. You know, I did. Uh, I thought I did everything I wanted to do, but 
you know, it's coincident because I, I kind of, you know, on, on the other hand, I kind of have still have something to prove, which was, you know, going back to open. Then uh, I uh, wanted to train with Milos. It's been like 10 years, and I thought it was gonna, it was not gonna happen. But he came back. Later, later after Olympia, we trained, then uh, he came back and he stayed in LA. So, okay, uh, this is this is something I have to do. And uh, I came back to LA, then I uh, started training in the middle since uh, last December. So it's been only uh, three months. And uh, as you guys see uh, our Instagram and all stuff, uh, we are making dramatic uh, improvement. And uh, I can tell this is uh, training, this is a nutrition. This is what I, uh, really need to do uh, improve myself. Like like right now in my uh, I'm 44 right now, but you know this age I can improve and I can actually get him bigger again. So I can we can prove you know a lot of people you know don't count me in, but uh, I don't care. We don't care. We going for how I look and are we going supplies a lot of people on the stage uh, two weeks and two days out. Okay, I'm going to touch the subject of uh, you know my training principles about this hyperemia advantage uh, system, about uh, intra-workout supplementation and everything. There's uh, many uh, famous uh, programs out there that you can't even spell the, the, the name of the program, and you can certainly not understand a goddamn thing about it. Everything that I do, I explain, and, and if people see that it makes sense, that's why they followed. You know, so what do we do? We, we prepare our blood with the specific nutrients, anabolic nutrients, anti-catabolic fat burning, and uh, you know, in pre-digested state. So we're gonna deliver everything into the working muscle. Now, is, if you consider that from 10, 12% of the blood being in the muscle, when we train, 60, 70% of that blood goes to exact muscle that we are training, then probably it would make sense to you to, to uh, understand that if you saturate that blood with the nutrients and then take it into those muscles with a crazy kind of workout with these giant sets, with every uh, possible hypertrophy principle applied, uh, and every muscle contraction opens up the cell, uh, and uh, 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 cells are ready for uptake of those nutrients, then you can imagine that you can create a miracle during the workout. So contrary to uh, exercise physiology that would want us to deplete all the muscle fibers and glycogen and ATP and everything else, we are actually super saturating during the workout. You know, so this is what we've been doing, and, and I'm not doing this to be different. I'm doing this because I honestly had to answer my question, what would be really, in my opinion, scientifically, uh, uh, consciously uh, developed best uh, training system? So this is what we do. Now, not to mention that we have never ever had any major injury, contrary to many other, uh, you know, uh, Workout programs that, of course, if you do it long enough, uh, it's just injury waiting to happen. So this, as you can see uh, in this short segment that uh, we taped today for uh, muscle development, uh, we do the giant sets and then we you know, put some heavy weight inside, we do some super slows, we do some overload stretching, we do the you know, very fast, we do the negatives. We, we really apply everything possible to stimulate that muscle. I understand there is not uh, uh, one way, would I say, to the Rome. There are many different ways to the Rome, right? There is not one way to build muscle. But there is uh, uh, minimal, some kind, then optimal, you know, and then there is maximal. So we are always going for maximal. Everything that I do with Hide is maximizing. He's going a best, uh, against best in the world, so there is no compromises. I mean, uh, if you're not going to do 100%, we're not going to do it at all. Now, a uh, program that you're going to see uh, we did today, you know, it's uh, always uh, involving. Next chest workout is going to be more progressive than this one. And if you saw the, uh, the media, social media, Instagram, you're going to see that from every workout we add something new and different. Now also, for those of you that understand about the dieting, Hide was dieting, you know, pretty much up until like last week on pretty much 700 grams of carbs a day, right? You know, this is another thing that, uh, you know, people cannot understand and comprehend like, uh, what? You know, all the principles that I included in the, in the bodybuilding and, you know, the, a lot of people do give me a credit for inter-workout nutrition, you know, for type of training, okay, for insulin delivery and uh, all that stuff. Yes, we use all those principles all the way to the show. You know, so, uh, you know, pay attention. You know, this is actual workout. Uh, Jordan uh, Blackman came to, to tape this uh, program, and uh, he was, you know, pretty much also surprised because he didn't expect it. 
He's been doing this for many years, and this is unconventional, but unconventional not for the sake of being different, it's uh, for the sake of being the best. Okay, after uh, August, the first, uh, first, I mean, uh, first trainer in my life was Miros, you know, 2006 and 2007. And uh, that, that's when I came to the United States. Then after that, Miros uh, went back to home, I mean, uh, Serbia. Then uh, I was, I had been working with uh, uh, many uh, trainers and, tra and uh, nutritionists. But the, the Miros is different, uh, the most, uh, biggest, most biggest different, uh, the Miros training system is everything is combined, you know, training, nutrition, everything has to be combined. So if you see social media, only training, you, of, of course training is intense, training is some, you know, it, crazy intense level. So if you see that uh, kind of, you know, like, oh crazy, or oh, that this is insane, it's, it is the insane, but you have to understand behind the nutrition, you know, behind the, all the drink I, we are taking during the training, you have to combine everything, then we, we get the result. So you pick the one, you know, one piece something, then uh, you say, oh, something, this is, uh, this is too crazy. Not, this is not like this, this it's all combined. So you have to understand, uh, uh, we doing you know, a lot of uh, things behind scene, but as Miros explained, he don't, he don't, you know, he don't hide nothing. If, if somebody wants to know, he, he will tell you, but you know, we cannot, of course, we cannot show everything in, in, uh, in a, like a 30 minutes, 40 minutes video, but that's what we are doing. And that's the, the uh, most different thing uh, Miros doing. We are two weeks and two days away, and uh, as you ask, like, oh, what is in our process, uh, like fine-tuning at the end? You see, for all the bodybuilders, when we want to step on the stage, winning combination would be uh, extreme muscularity. So in the process of dieting, you want to maintain or even build muscle. A lot of people over dieting and lose muscle, and, and uh, you know, this is counterproductive. So the first uh, uh, point is you know, con uh, you know, maximizing uh, uh, your size and not losing anything in the process of dieting. Second thing is getting lean. A lot of people also, in order to get lean because they were too fat off season, you know, they dramatically uh, reduce the calories and when that uh, deficit, uh, caloric deficit is uh, so intense, they lose muscle in process again. So these two points, you do it of weeks of dieting. Last three points for a, a perfect stage presentation would be in the last week. We need to... Uh, super uh, compensate uh, glycogen, you know, so we, we're going to go for uh, carbohydrate depletion, carbohydrate loading, you know, because if you really uh, deplete uh, glycogen completely and then super compensate, you can store more. So, in a, you know, somebody uh, like Hide with extreme muscularity, when you really uh, can push more glycogen in than normally, then you can see considerable difference. And, and uh, this is how I created the illusion all my career, you know, people would always see me off stage and say, like, you don't look as big as uh, you look on stage and say, like, yeah, you know, that's illusion that you created there. There was many of my other guys, uh, Dennis Falf, 2007 Olympia, was a perfect example. He was considerably bigger just because of that approach. And I did this with Hida back in 2007. If you guys remember his physique, uh, there was Iron Man and uh, Arnold Classic. You know, he looked like too turry easily, uh, you know, just because of, you know, this process. So the uh, fine tuning that, uh, you know, I'm talking about is uh, seven days before the show. A lot of people are afraid to do it, but uh, we are not because we do this, you know, constantly. We're going to deplete the glycogen. And then we're going to supercompensate. So once glycogen is in, that's uh, in the last two points. You you want to have a intracellular hydration to the max and extracellular you know to the minimal. So once uh, glucose is binded with water and stored as a glycogen, this is when you uh, can see it. Okay, I'm happy with this fullness. This is when you start uh, dropping the water, and uh, you know this is the very last thing that uh, is going to get you that winning combination of being extremely muscular, very lean, you know super super full, you know, as, as far as glycogen and dry. So this is, uh, you know, pretty much the last two weeks that we're doing. We, we still have uh, just a little bit more work on uh, like a lower back, you know, to, to burn some body fat, which, uh, you know, we have uh, two weeks, you know, to do it. Uh, we are very pleased with everything else and expect the best here on the stage. Okay, talking about how I improved uh, since uh, I started training with Miros again, of course, uh, uh, as you can see, I, I'm considerably bigger, and uh, I'm, the conditioning is, you know, if you ha have this pop, the muscle mass, you, you, you can get leaner, ac actually easier. So uh, this time around, 
it's very easy mentally because I, I don't need to come down to 12. Uh, last few years, diet was really hard and it was kind of, I, I would say it was hell. But this time, like Milos just said, I was I was eating 700 gram carbs almost all the way up to last week. So uh, I didn't really feel I was on dieting. And uh, this week I st start feeling a little bit, but you know it, it cannot compare you know last few years uh, dieting. So uh, mentally I'm I'm really energetic, and uh, actually I I actually almost forgot, but I was doing like like this kind of diet for you know when I was in open class. So that's why I could compete a lot of shows. I I actually uh, competed. You know, almost all shows whole year, like just like Milos did. But I wasn't really dieting. I was, you know, eating up to the show. And then after, you know, for sure, I was really, you know, uh, wasn't even dieting. You know, I was just maintaining conditioning. I was kind of getting bigger. So this is what we are doing right now. So, uh, uh, like I said, uh, Milos said uh, we are, you know, focusing on more conditioning now. So. You know, a little bit, a uh, little starting, a little tired, but, you know, I'm happy and I'm ready to explore on the stage. I'm going to, we're going to do go to uh, Australia uh, in two weeks. Then, uh, uh, so from there, I, we, uh, my goal, our goal is going back to uh, Olympia Open. So, uh, whatever it takes, I'm going to uh, do as many shows as possible, then uh, going back to Olympia. Okay, that's it for today. Last thing I, I want to, last thing but not, not least, I want to mention uh, Rich Gaspar and Gaspar Nutrition uh, supporting me all this time since uh, 2009. Uh, it's been a long time, but uh, as, you, as you can tell, uh, their uh, product and their support is the best and uh, I want I to want, I want do best for uh, Rich and the company. So thank you very much. And our uh, other company, of, of course, Gasp. Me and Miros uh, have Gasp too. Then uh, all their support, uh, uh, especially fans from Japanese. We just had a Miros Shashi training camp last weekend. Uh, 26, uh, 26 guys and a young young lady from Japan just came in here and trained like we did. So uh, it was great. So thank you very much all your support. And uh, we will see you in Ohio two and two weeks and two days. <laughs>